In 2019, Marvel and DC are both releasing Captain Marvel movies. Now, if you're a comic lover or a superhero fanatic like myself, you know what I'm talking about, but your average Joe is probably thinking, wait, what? Are they... are they really? Hey, isn't that one guy Shazam? Well, you are right, but his name is also Captain Marvel. There's a long, weird history behind the name and ownership of this character and the name Captain Marvel. And while these characters have similar skill sets and literally the same name, they have very different origins and histories. See, even though Marvel's Captain Marvel has the name, DC's version of the character actually came first and wasn't originally owned by DC. So let's start with him. In 1939, Fawcett Comics created Captain Marvel as a competitor for Superman comics. In fact, Captain Marvel is blatantly a ripoff of Supes, which gets Fawcett into trouble. DC, at the time called National Allied Publications, sued Fawcett Comics in a long-winded court battle, which ended in Fawcett Comics having to settle outside of court and stop making Captain Marvel stories. And by 1953, Fawcett completely shut down its comic work. For the next few years, the rights kind of floated around. Some people made knockoffs like Marvel Man and another same-named but totally different Captain Marvel who could split his limbs off with the magic word Zam. That comic shot down when Marvel Comics came after them for using the word Marvel in their title. Soon after, Marvel got the rights to the name Captain Marvel, and they started making some comics with an alien super soldier going by that name and whose alter ego was not so subtly Marvel but also had the alter ego Walter Lawson for a bit. But then DC bought the rights to the original character Captain Marvel from Fawcett Comics and wanted to start making their own comics with that character. Unfortunately, they couldn't call the character's series Captain Marvel because Marvel owned the rights to using that name as the title of a comic series. DC could still have the character be named Captain Marvel, but they couldn't have the title of his series be Captain Marvel. So they named the run after the term the character would shout when he needed to activate his abilities, Shazam. Now arguably, DC did more interesting things with their Captain Marvel. He became a staple of their universe, while Marvel kind of had their character putting around not doing too much interesting besides, you know, dying in 1982. The name was given to some different characters at Marvel, but they kind of just kept making stuff under that title so that they wouldn't lose the copyrights on the character's name. But during the early runs of Marvel's Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, the love interest of Captain Marvel, got caught in an explosion with the good Captain, and she became irradiated with, you know, superhero radiation from him. Eventually, this would lead to her becoming Ms. Marvel, and down the line in 2012, taking on the Captain Marvel mantle herself, and becoming a cornerstone of the Marvel Universe. A year before that, DC officially renamed their character Shazam in the universe-wide mini-reboot The New 52. So let's talk origins. I've already discussed Captain Marvel's explosion, irradiation, and all that, but what I didn't mention was how much of a boss she was before even getting her superpowers. She's an ex-CIA fighter pilot flying security head for NASA. That's where she met Marvell and eventually fell in love with him and whatnot before she eventually got his powers, making her half Cree. The, the fictional space aliens Cree, not the tribe of Native Americans Cree. Her abilities include flight and super strength, strong enough that she could batter the Hulk around a bit. Plus, she has some crazy lasers. She can absorb and shoot energy, and the more she absorbs, the more she can shoot, giving her potentially limitless power. She's currently running with a Canadian super team in the comics called Alpha Flight, which I'm only mentioning because I'm Canadian. Go Canada. Now back to Shazam, aka Captain Marvel, aka Billy Batson, who, yeah, you're not seeing this wrong, is a kid most of the time. Now, he has an older origin and a newer origin, but they're pretty similar, so I'll I'll just go over the basics of both. Basically, he's an orphan who finds an old wizard in a mystical subway tunnel and is given all the powers of six ancient Greek heroes and gods, Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, and Mercury, which make up the acronym Shazam. Whenever he shouts the word Shazam, the powers activate and he becomes the super buff adult, which is very convenient alter ego-wise because he's basically transforming into a different person. Although in some runs, Billy Batson grows up to look exactly like adult Captain Marvel, so that alter ego may have limited use. Anyway, his abilities include super speed and strength near the levels of the Man of Steel. In fact, some comics have alluded to the fact that he might be even faster than Superman. 
But besides that, he's also magic and can shoot lightning, presumably because of the Z in his name. Having the mind of a kid and the bod and abilities of a crazy strong superhero makes Shazam a super interesting character, especially when he's interacting with the Justice League since often they don't know he's a little kid under the disguise. Both Captain Marvel and Shazam, the hero formerly known as Captain Marvel, are really popular in superhero communities, but I'm personally incredibly excited for everyone to get to know them when their movies come out in 2019. But now you gotta tell me, if you could have one term that you had to shout to activate your superpowers like Shazam, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, go check out some of my other ones. Last week's episode was on the history of the Rhino and it was animated in this same format. And then I have some older video essays about superhero storytelling as well that were m more live action with me actually in them. But thanks for watching and be sure to come back next week to see what else I got coming out.